Hello, YouTubers. This is the Noobifier. Friday, we got Star Citizen Live, which is basically reverse the verse hosted by Jared about the vehicle pipeline. I do have a video linked up for you right now and in the video credits that was called out by CIG for MVP that explains the pipeline in greater detail. It's quite dated, but still very relevant. Even though the show was pre-recorded, there's a ton of great information. Here's what you need to know in three minutes and nine seconds. Our ships in Star Citizen are chosen to fulfill a need. Some mechanics don't yet have a ship, that brings up the need, and that triggers a new concept. It's pretty obvious, but our ships are inspired by something that's real or something that exists in sci-fi. Brands are locked into a style guide which helped define what the future ship might look like, based on aesthetic cues. This created delays in the past and some ships were made before the style guide was set, now those need to be adjusted. Some older ships also went through several design updates because the game engine changed or another system evolved. The current pipeline is more streamlined, ensuring less time is wasted because the tooling is set such as a standard metric which allows things to be right the first time. With the metrics defined, a developer can set the seat height clearance and cockpit correct the first time to achieve proper view and proper ergonomics. This means less reworks. They confirmed that white box is the basic layout with the rudimentary first pass which can be tested in engine. White box testing a ground vehicle ensures the turning radius, suspension, travel and other factors are good to go. Gray box is the stage where the geometry is mostly confirmed. Individual parts can be worked on such as textures, animations, lighting, sound, propulsion, damage states, and the ship system such as the pipes. The order that the work is done on ships is known as triage and it isn't arbitrary. The ships are worked on based on when they're needed and based on game mechanics. There is a priority of work needed for Squadron 42. If there's a lull in the pipeline and they know that they can bang out a ship within that lull, that gets moved up. Not all artists are created equal. Some are better with certain styles and certain ships based on experience. So lining up the right ship with the right artist is always considered. The priority is function, style, and then rule of cool. They confirm that each discrete hull will have its own bespoke custom entry and exit animations. Some ships are still operating on legacy damage states and HUD. Those are eventually going to get brought in line with the others. A rework is confirmed as a full ground up rebuild which creates an asset from scratch and an improvement keeps the basic geometry, but updates the level of detail, textures, and animations. It's true that some turrets are placed in very poor locations based on old concept art. Some of them are gonna get sorted out and some of them are basically locked in. Not all ships can do everything by design and efforts are made to ensure that the new concepts don't completely invalidate old ones. Snub fighters are really weak by design and intended only to provide the threat similar to a ship's turret. Interior modularity was confirmed to be a major consideration as they did confirm it on ATV. There are future plans to let us move things around like beds, desks, and consoles, but obviously there's a limit to everything. Some legacy ships have beds and no toilets. This seems weird. These may be addressed in the future. Breaching doors, turrets, windows, elevators, and ramps is still the plan. There are long-range plans to breach the hull, but that would involve game mechanics that haven't yet been planned. The ship's stats page is full of mistakes and or rarely updated. The stats are updated manually, which can lead to errors. The errors are loosely cataloged and then may be updated once a year as part of a big blob, rather than doing them individually. And that's it, mega compressed. If you like the no bullshit approach, please take the time to link this video to a friend and orgmate. It helps me reach a wider audience. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.